Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And what would you say to the idea of having Visual Studio Code inside of the Godot game engine, available as a script editor inside of Godot? Well, I'm gonna show you not one, but two ways you can do this, two massively different ways uh, in various different states of development. So the first one we're gonna look at, uh, this is very new. There's gonna be a lot of warts, kinks to work out, and right now it's only available as a module, so you're gonna have to give it time. But you're gonna notice here, I am running a custom fork of Godot called GoNuts. Uh, and inside of it, he has this. This, what you see in front of you, that is Visual Studio Code inside of the Godot game engine. That, I think, is very, very cool. Now, there are some definite catches here. This is actually running a web version of it. So what he's created is a web viewer. So this is actually a web view panel. So basically, this is a browser version of Visual Studio Code running in a browser uh, web view inside of of Godot. Again, it's very early on. His ultimate intention is to make this available as a GD extension, which will make it much easier to get it up and working. Now, there are a couple of catches here. Since this is um, the way it's implemented, the uh, store here, you're going to have a different level of extensions available. So you can see here, uh, all of the extensions, they need to be compatible. So like Godot tools, for example, are not compatible with Visual Studio Code for the web, but GD script syntax highlighting is. So you're not going to have 100% of your extensions. A lot of the extensions do not work in the web version, but you notice a lot of them do. So it's kind of one of those catches. You're going to have to have support for it, but otherwise you have full project management over here and everything else available. Uh, you got your full menus here, all of the, the features that you would expect, the refactoring tools and so on. Uh, one of the catches I have found, so little things that need to be worked out. So for example, if I want to hit F1 to bring up the palette, well, the search help is getting in the way or uh, control shift P that works. So you're going to have little things of like hot keys to resolve here. And you can notice here, all of the functionality you expect in Visual Studio Code. Now this again is kind of a bit of a trick because again, it is using a web view to show the online version of Visual Studio Code, which then tunnels locally, etc. You're going to have to log in and authenticate once. By the way, uh, you can use like a GitHub or a Hotmail account or whatever to do so. And once you've authorized to the version of Visual Studio Online, then you can run it inside of this embedded version. So again, right now this is only a available in his custom fork, this GoNuts version. Uh, but in the future, he is going to make this available as a GD extension. If you like what he's doing there, do check out his um, Discord. He's been very... Um uh, he, he's very responsive to feedback and it's going to be interesting where this project ultimately goes. Now, the other one we've got here, this is a much larger process, progress. Um, <laughs> I can't speak. This project is much larger. This is something called Genova or Project Genova, J-E-N-O-V-A. This is based off of a Final Fantasy character or something to that effect. But the entire idea behind this, and I did a video about this in the past, this brings live C++ scripting to the Godot game engine. That's pretty cool. So if you want to use uh, C++ in here, instead of having to create modules or GD extensions or whatever, you can actually script with it like here. You know, attach a script. I come on in here and Genova makes it possible to add a C++ script to the objects. Now, the cool thing that they've done, so it, and once you've installed it into your project, you're going to notice the Genova is available here. Well, go here, tools, open the package manager. We go to the tools section of the package manager and we're going to notice we have this option over here, the Genova code IDE. Now, this is a deeply integrated and native development environment powered by Visual Studio Code Core. So even if you want to ignore all the rest of it, you can actually get this uh, embedded version. So this isn't running through a web view or anything. This is all running locally. I have had a little bit of performance hiccups at times, though. One of those things to be aware of. But what you see here, this is a full-blown um, Visual Studio Code Core. So it's a stripped down version of it, but it is running directly inside of Godot. Now this is all set up uh, and optimized towards doing C++ development. So you see here, if I bring up the palette, you'll notice a ton of C++ specifics of run C++ file, code analysis, etc. So this is very much set up for C++. And the other thing you're going to notice here is like instance. There we go. So I am getting uh, code completion on what I've got, syntax highlighting, etc. So you do have your full code editing here. This is actually running entirely local. So there's no web view trick going on here, uh, but also this is gonna be much more invasive to get it up and going. Uh, but what you'll notice here with this one though, is you do have everything going on. So you got extensions, so you can run, let's see if all the Godot extensions are available there. You can run the Godot tools and run them directly inside. So this is more of a full fat, uh, literally fat version of Visual Studio 
code inside of Godot. Very cool stuff. Now, one thing that I would love to see is just this on its own. Obviously, though, that's not their priority. Their priority is the C++ scripting side of things. And this is a feature they've added to facilitate that. But I think there's a ton of people out there. If you made this available as a GD extension or an add-on, uh, people would be all over this, which is a very cool thing. And there's actually Godot tools were already installed, by the way. But uh, if you're interested, full version of uh, Visual Studio Code, or if you want more of a lightweight solution, again, very much under development, this is a version of Visual Studio Code running via WebView. So if you want to go ahead and check these one out, again, this one is very much a work in progress. One else thing you want to be aware of, uh, it is currently available in GoNuts. Uh, he should have a binary up soon. I know they're working on a Linux glitch with that trying to work around the bug in that but it works for mac and windows currently uh and again there's other work going on here this fork of godot that he's created gonuts uh has uh, steam integrated discord embedded app a terminal uh, uh multiplayer lobbying the web view and then the web view is ultimately visual studio code IDE is running using it. So that's what in this special version, but its ultimate goal is actually this guy right here uh, to be its own project. This to be right now it's implemented as a module because it's easier to develop that way uh, in his custom fork, but eventually he is going to make this a GD extension that we can all use. So make it very quick and easy to get this stuff up and running. He Again, I've interacted with him on Discord. He is very responsive. Uh, if he gets interest in this project, he is going to try and you know make it better and better. Again, make it ultimate into a GD extension. So if you like what you see here, do drop him a star uh, on either of these projects, either on GoNuts or on the um, Visual Studio, Godot Visual Studio Code IDE project. And do check out his Discord. Again, he's very responsive. He wants to see this project take off. And if there's a lot of interest in it, I'm sure that is going to motivate him a lot more. Now, the other one here we have is Genova. Again, I did a hands-on video of Genova about a year back. Uh, this is designed as an entire framework for adding uh, full-featured C++ scripting within the Godot editor. Uh, using C20 and 23, similar to how you could use uh, GDScript as C Sharp now. So it is installed on top of it, but you can also download a version. So you can get this version right over here, which is basically a build of Godot with all of this stuff built in. And then the key part here, this wasn't available before, but they now have this Genova Code IDE, which is an integrated development environment inside of Godot built on top of Visual Studio Core. Uh, deeply integrated and so on. I think that is really a, a cool feature of this. I'd love to see, again, this available as its own thing so you don't need all the rest of that stuff. So if you're not interested in C++ and you just want to have this IDE inside of Godot, love to see that as a separate project. But again, that is not their focus or their goal. So maybe we will never see that. So ladies and gentlemen, that is two ways to get Visual Studio Code running directly inside of Godot. Uh, again, you can also run it, you know, just Visual Studio on a separate project and link them and flip back and forth, back and forth through the reload thing and all that. There's nothing wrong with that, but I know a lot of people like the idea of having their IDE or their code editor directly inside here, and but have all the functionality of Visual Studio Code. That is what gets you this. So this one here, the no guts version, uh, the, the, no, no, no. All right, brain, why'd you stop working, brain? Uh, the Go Nuts, yeah, that's it. The Go Nuts version of it uses a web view, a lightweight version, uh, kind of, in some ways it's a trick, but it's a neat trick. And then over here, we have it as an aspect of this whole Genova project, uh, much more um, integrated. This is a full version of a stripped down version of Visual Studio Code running inside of Godot, which both of them really impressive projects in my opinion. But let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.